going on City Youth? Today is the very first of many Overflow Devos that are to come in this next term. Now the Overflow Devo is a series of devotionals hosted by myself and the rest of the team to bring you some teaching, some discipleship over the next term. Now the term theme for uh, this term is uh, identity. And the thing that I think about when it comes to identity and being a Christian even is about how much we're forgiven. Now we know uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is amazing. It's given us life. It's given us so much joy. It's given us all the fruits of the spirit. We all know that. But the thing that I associate identity with when it comes to being a Christian is how much God has forgiven us. Why? Because it gives us such a different perspective on life how we do things what we say how we think how we treat other people and just knowing that all the sins that i've done in the past no matter how ugly i feel no matter how horrible i feel or dirty or maybe even used or abused i feel god has forgiven all of those sins because of jesus now he's also forgiven all the sins that i'm thinking of maybe the ones that i haven't really put an action to all the things that I know are bad, all the things that I know I really shouldn't be doing, he's forgiven me for those things as well. And then, for the cherry on top, he's also forgiving all of the things that I'm about to do. So all the sins that I'm about to go and do, everything that I've thought of in my own mind, he said, you know what, because you've trusted in me, because I'm the Lord of your life, I will forgive you. And that changes my heart, my perspective, and says, well, if I've been forgiven, so generously so mercifully then surely i should be forgiving other people it's kind of like saying you know your mom gives you 50 pounds to go and do the shopping you spend 25 pounds or even all of it on yourself you've come back with no shopping and then your mom says no it's okay i forgive you because they see how much you are sorry and because they see how much uh, remorse is in your voice and maybe you begged and said sorry but you, you've repented, you said, you know, I don't want to do that again. And that's why your mom would forgive you. And again, it's so enlightening to think, man, I've been forgiven. I know I did that wrong thing. And so we can forgive other people so generously because we've forgiven people so generously. Now, I was with my godson just yesterday and I could give so many books to his, to his mom about, you know, black history, or you know uh, black inventors you know the first black preacher of Birmingham you know I can give him a collection of uh, reggae all this kind of stuff you know cultural artifacts to say this is your heritage this is your identity one of the key things that I would love for him to know is that he is forgiven if he trusts in his Heavenly Father if he trusts in Jesus when he gets older he is forgiven and that would be a very important part of his identity why because it affects everything that he does what he does how he thinks it and ultimately he will walk perfectly and better into his life purpose that God has given him and God wants us to live forgiven he doesn't just want us to know that we're forgiven he wants us to live forgiven and so at the end of uh, this devotional I'm going to put up uh, Romans chapter 8 verses 1 to 5 which talks about how there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus if we're in Christ Jesus we're not judged we're not condemned we're not liable for any of that punishment because through the blood of Jesus God the Father has forgiven us and I want you to take this time to meditate to to think of his generosity and to think of his um, mercy and all the love that he's given to you not just all the good things that you've got not just the fruits of the spirit but the fact that you've been forgiven that you're a child of God and how you can live differently and better because of that knowledge after every overflow devotional we'll have a section of time portion of time for you to reflect for you to pause for you to meditate on God's word and the authority that it gives to our lives so here it is mm -hmm.